All right, fellas. Don't suppose I could trouble you for a fag. No, you can't. And another thing. If you ever threaten a member of my staff again, I'll have you arrested. Do you understand? Well, if you insist on employing marriage wrecking little slappers, you've got to expect trouble. See you later. Ooh, touched an air, have I? Off to do a little bit of stock taking with Molly. Oh, how does it go? Prices up, knickers down. That's enough. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hey, Mr. Soft, lad. He's the one who's been knocking your missus off. No, he's not. I'm sorry. Why can you be so sure? The same way I'm sure it's not Lloyd or Jason or Kevin or Flaming Norris. Why did she leave you then? Do you really want to know? It's because she doesn't love me anymore. That's all. No mystery and no one to blame. She just stopped loving me. How many times can I say I'm sorry? I don't want you to say you're sorry. I just want you to stop pretending that you care. Of course I care, you me son. And even if you weren't, I'd still be angry about what she's done to you. Why? Because you're a good man, Ty, and that's rare. And maybe you do deserve better than me for a mother, but you want to know something? You deserve better than her for a wife. Why don't you take that sponge to that black heart of yours? Give that a scrub and all. Hey, don't start getting I won't say another word. Tart! Oh. Hiya, lad. Good day at work. There's a punk. Oh, that'll be me. I went to town on a box of exotic bath oils, practically pickled myself. I bought them as a present for Molly. Exactly. And I'm not going to rest until every trace of that trollop is gone from this house. Oh, Mum, don't start, all right. What's the tea? Why am I not surprised? Look, I know you're still knocked about earlier, and I can feel your pain like it's my own. I've been like a zombie ever since, barely able to function, knowing how much I've ate you. Oh, but you still found time to have a soak. I and I was sobbing that much, I didn't need cold tap. <laughs> hey, do you know what'd cheer us up? Like a big blowout Chinese. Spring rolls, prawn crackers, saucy pork balls. A <laughs> blowout, lads. <laughs> Sounds all right. Well, as soon as I'm dry and my pit stops, Martin, I'll go and take a wander. Twenty quid to cover it. Right, twenty quid. There you go. Oh, we are. That'll keep you going. Don't say I don't look after you. <laughs>